pay travelers. In this video, we'll explore the top 10 best places to visit in Tokyo. So before knowing them, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Tokyo is the capital and most populous city of Japan. It's known for its skyscrapers, bustling streets, and vibrant nightlife. But there's so much more to this city than you may think. Let me tell you why you should visit Tokyo. The food in Tokyo is incredible. You can get everything from ramen to sushi burgers to fries all over the city. The people in Tokyo are very friendly and welcoming. The locals will be happy to show you around their city if they see that you're trying hard enough. There are so many clubs and bars in Tokyo that it would take forever to list them all here but one thing's for sure. Wherever you go at nighttime, there will be partygoers everywhere. Number 10. Yuino Park To the east of Tokyo Station is Yuino Park, one of the most popular parks in Tokyo. This large park boasts a beautiful pond, museums and temples, as well as an old zoo. The park is easily accessible via train or bus from any part of the city and can be enjoyed by everyone. The park has a long history and was once used for battle training during the Edo period, from 1603 to 1868. It has since been converted into one of Tokyo's most important public spaces where you can enjoy yourself walking around with friends or family while enjoying all that this great place has to offer. Number 9. Tokyo Tower Tokyo Tower is an iconic structure that can be seen from all over Tokyo. The tower was built in 1958, and it measures 333 meters high. There are two elevators that take you up to the main observatory at 150 meters. This is where you'll find five observation decks for breathtaking views of Mount Fuji, Tokyo's skyline and more. Tokyo Tower was designed by Takunado, who also designed the original Eiffel Tower in Paris. It's a bit smaller than its French counterpart, at 967 feet. A restaurant on top of tower is called Sky Restaurant. Number 8. Shinjuku City Shinjuku City is a great place to visit in Tokyo. Shinjuku City is one of the most exciting cities in Tokyo, and it's also an excellent place for adventure tourists who enjoy exploring new places. There are many shops, restaurants, and entertainment venues that make this city an ideal destination for everyone who wants to have fun and enjoy themselves during their time here. Shinjuku City is also a great place if you are interested in architecture, because there are many old buildings with interesting architectural designs that can be found throughout the city. It's recommended that you visit Shinjuku City at night when it will be more crowded than during the day, as well as being able to see all its attractions without having any problems finding them or getting lost while trying not to get lost yourself. Number 7. Inakashira Park Inakashira Park is a beautiful and serene park in the heart of Tokyo's Mataka District. The park contains many different areas that offer something for everyone. You can enjoy nature, history, entertainment, and even some great restaurants. The most famous area of Inakashira Park is the zoo that lies within its boundaries. Here you'll find hundreds of exotic animals from all over the world, including lions, tigers, elephants, and dolphins. The zoo also holds regular events such as elephant shows where visitors can interact with these powerful creatures up close. Another popular attraction at Inakashira Park is the museum which has exhibits about nature and local history, as well as workshops where children can learn about science through experiments like building their own solar system models or making a bird feeder out of recyclable materials. If you prefer animals without fur then don't worry, because there are plenty more where those came from at Inakashira's aquarium full of colorful fish swimming around inside tanks filled with water too deep for them to escape from, so no need to worry about being attacked by sharks anymore. It also has an educational section where kids learn how important ocean's ecosystem is by playing interactive games such as learning how much energy comes from plankton. Number 6. Odeba. Odeba, located on Tokyo Bay, is a popular tourist destination for those who want to see the nightlife and history of Tokyo. There are many ways to get there. You can take the train from central Tokyo or walk on foot from Shinjuku. If you're looking for things to do in Odeba, there are plenty. The island has an amusement park and aquarium with rides and aquariums full of marine life. You can also visit Venus Ford for shops selling products related to love and relationships. 
In addition, there are many shopping malls at Odeba such as Diver City and Aqua City, which have stores that sell clothes, souvenirs, and food items among others. There are restaurants scattered around this district as well. Try Raymond Nagi. Number 5. Jiam National Garden When you think of Tokyo, a lot of people assume that the city is all high-rises and neon lights. While there is certainly some truth to that, there are still plenty of places to escape from the hustle and bustle of Japan's largest city. Jiao National Garden is one such place. Located in central Tokyo and covering over 80 acres, this park is home to an array of beautiful gardens and an impressive number of cherry blossoms. Cherry blossom season typically runs from late March through early April, but if you visit during this time period, be sure to bring your camera. The grounds are absolutely stunning under a canopy of pink flowers year after year. The park also features many different types of trees that change with each passing season. It's one thing to see flowers blooming but quite another when they're joined by bright green leaves or even autumn colors like reds, oranges, browns, the list goes on. Number 4. Meiji Shrine Meiji Shrine is a Shinto shrine located in the Shibuya area of Tokyo. It's dedicated to the deified spirits of Emperor Meiji and his wife, Empress Shokan. The shrine features a huge forest that covers an area of 700,000 square meters as well as several ponds. The forest contains over 13,000 trees from 130 different species which are often adorned with traditional decorations such as ornaments and flags during festivals throughout the year. Number 3. Jinza District Jinza is simply a must-visit district in Tokyo, offering some of the most famous shopping and dining in all of Japan. You can find everything from department stores like Mitsukoshi to boutiques like Isimiyak, not to mention countless restaurants serving everything from traditional Japanese fared to modern fusion cuisine. And if you're looking for an evening out with some entertainment, Jinza's nightlife scene has something for everyone. Karaoke joints, sick bars, and even a maid cafe where girls dressed as French maids will serve you food and drinks while you relax on their plush sofas. For those who want to get away from it all, without leaving Tokyo itself, Jinza also offers several beautiful gardens that are open to the public year-round, including Yuno Park. One thing to note about visiting this area is that it's easy for tourists who aren't familiar with how things work here or just don't care about getting lost may find themselves completely turned around due to its winding streets and confusing layout, especially since there isn't much signage in English. If possible, I would definitely recommend hiring somebody who speaks both languages well enough so they can show us around town safely. Number 2. National Museum of Nature and Science The National Museum of Nature and Science in Tokyo is a museum dedicated to exploring nature and science through exhibits and interactive displays. The museum is divided into four sections, nature, earth, health, and innovation. Each section has its own theme, but all of them are designed to give visitors a better understanding of how the world works. In the nature section, visitors can explore how plants grow, from seedlings to mature plants, and learn about different types of animals. There's also a large aquarium where you can see fish from around the world up close. The Earth section takes you on a trip around our planet by showing off various fossils from ancient eras as well as minerals found in different regions around the world today, such as gold. There's even an area where you can touch real meteorites. The Health section offers exhibits focusing on both human health as well as animal health. Visitors will also learn about how animals communicate with one another using body language and sounds. This section includes a life-size model of an elephant that lets visitors interact with it via sensors embedded throughout it. Number 1. Imperial Palace, Tokyo Imperial Palace is a majestic, historic building that has been used as the residence of the Emperor of Japan since 1868. It's known for its beautiful gardens and impressive architecture. You'll even get to see the Emperor himself if he's home. The palace is actually located in the heart of Tokyo, so it's very easy to reach. You can take the subway or a train, or you can walk there if you're feeling up for it. The palace is open year-round except on Mondays and Tuesdays, so there are plenty of times to visit it during your trip to Tokyo. If you do plan on going on a Monday or Tuesday, 
just make sure to check in advance whether they're open that day or not. You'll want to arrive early if possible. The crowds can get pretty big around noon, so try getting there before then if possible. Also keep in mind that this place is closed from 4 p.m. 5.30 p.m. every day, except holidays, so be sure not to show up after 4 p.m. or else you won't be able to go inside until 5.30 p.m. when they reopen again. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.